morning everybody and what a beautiful morning it is today and it's friday hooray so little question for you this morning if you were stranded on a desert island what three things would you want to have with you have a little think hmm any thoughts in the room you know what i think i would like to have um, a book to read. I think I'd like some music um, and probably a fridge full of food, actually, I think. You got any thoughts? What would Gethin have in his? Um, I have a loo. Um, yeah. He wants a loo, portal loo, is no, good. A... a and a balloon. All right, we'll go with balloon. And Harley? A tent. I would take a tent. Shelter. Um, Good idea. Right, we're going to come back to being stranded on a desert island in a minute. But first of all, let's go for some science. Ray, let's see if my science works well this morning. Okay, our first one this morning. I think this is quite an easy one. We're looking at the theme of sticking. So, what happens if I'm going to rub this balloon on my hair? Ah, let my hair sticks to the balloon. And that is static electricity. This is a shirt pen. So you can have a little try with that. It looks really good if you're a boy with short hair, particularly because you can make it go whoa, really spiky. Right, okay. Next one. I've got a penny here. I'll hold this close. And I've got a little pipette here, which, oh, which will drop drop water onto the penny. Now my question is, how many drops of water do you think I'll be able to get onto this penny? It's just a normal penny. Let's have a little go. Have a little guess what you think. Any guesses in the room? How many drops do you think I'll, I'll be able to... Four. Three or four, says Holly. What do you think, Gethin? How many drops can I fit on this penny? Okay, let's start, should we? Morning, Jan. Okay, we've got one drop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Surely running out of space soon. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I'm just going to get a bit more water. So that's 19, it looks pretty full to me. 20, 21, 22, 23, can you see this? Ah, because yeah, I tilted it, it fell over. But I reckon you could probably get to about 30 if you don't tilt that. Um, see how many you can get on there. Now there, it was, if you look carefully, and you'll be able to see it when you do this yourselves, the water is almost like forming a little bubble over there. I'll just cover it a bit more. Um, and it's sticking together because actually water is something that really likes to stick together. It's all to do with the molecules, apparently. They are drawn in a really nice, big, fat blob there on top of my penny, which is, mm, yeah, really sticking there. See, ah, oh, there we go, see? I mean, you get to, I think I got to about 32 when I tried this one before. Now my final, Sticky experiment. So we've done sticky hair, sticky water, and sticky coins. Um, I'm gonna have to get a bucket with this one because you never know what might happen, and I don't want to get my laptop wet. So I've got a nice full glass of water here, and I've got a bit of just card, just normal card. And put the card on top of the water, and I'm gonna turn it over. And then I'm gonna take my hand away. And what do you expect will happen? That cardboard should fall away, shouldn't it? Oh, hang on. Let's try it again. <laughs> Let's try it again. This is why we do have. Ah! Ah, but look, it sticks. So the cardboard is sticking and holding that water in. Despite the weight of that water, we'd expect that, you know, there's nothing magic about this. This is sticky water. So you can try that one. 
I think Miss Charles, but do it over a sink or a bucket, maybe just in case it goes wrong, and do do the turnover quite quickly rather than slowly. So, why are we talking about sticking together, sticky things? Well, if we stick together, it's a way of showing that we are faithful, isn't it? And that is one of our fruits of the spirit that we've looked at, being faithful. So, how can we be faithful to each other? Well, let's think about our friends. Let's say you've had, you've got a friend who's invited you over to play at their house and you said yes and you're going to go but then half an hour before then another friend calls up and says I've just got a new Xbox game come over and play it with me and what do you say well do you ditch your other friend or do you stay with our plans that you'd already made you know I think you should stick with your friend your first friend shouldn't you because you've already made that arrangement with them so you've uh, you've made a promise and you'd stick by it and that is to show your faithfulness to each other and it's a good way to treat each other isn't it treat our friendships um, in that way be faithful to our friends and God is also faithful to us you know in um, the book of Acts we hear a lot about what Paul does to spread the news of Jesus around the Mediterranean area and that early church and at one point he is over in the uh, eastern Mediterranean and he's being told he's got to go off to stand trial in Rome. And so he's got to take a boat and he takes a few trips and it's coming in towards winter. And um, the, the, he's with the Roman centurions and a whole load of other prisoners are going along for the ride. So there's about 250 of them on the boat. And um, the, it's getting a little bit choppy and they, are, um, they end up in Crete. And um, Paul says to them, no, we shouldn't keep going because this weather doesn't look good let's let's winter here but they didn't want to stay there because that might have meant lots of several months maybe waiting behind so they didn't listen to Paul and they just kept going and basically it, the storms blew up and this ship was really starting to struggle and they were afraid they uh, were doing everything they could they're experienced um, sailors they were cutting ropes they were throwing things overboard to try and stabilize the ships and then Paul had a dream and he says to them the next day, well, it's not a dream. He says an angel, he says last night, an angel of the God to whom I belong and to whom I serve stood beside me and said, do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand trial before Caesar and God has graciously given you the lives of all who sail with you. So keep up your courage, men. For I have faith in God that it will happen, just as he told me. Nevertheless, we must run aground on some island. So that's what he's been told. So on the 14th night then that they had been um, sailing across the Adriatic Sea, um, basically they ended up being run aground on an island. And the island is Malta. And some of them swam to shore and some of them just paddled on bits of broken up um, wood from the ship. But they all survived, um, just as the angel of God had told Paul. So God showed his faithfulness to Paul there, even though actually what Paul was doing was going to be a little bit dangerous. He was going to Rome to stand trial. Um, but it was all part of God's master plan. And so he showed his faithfulness, not only to Paul, but to everyone else on that boat. So there they were, shipwrecked on Malta. But the Maltese people were very nice to them and they... Um, made a little fire for them and they had a little campfire and um, you know and when I went to them so back to where we were with your shipwrecked island if you were like Paul being shipwrecked upon Malta what do you think you would want well I know whatever you take with you if you have God with you then at least you know you have um, a faithful God on your side who will protect you and watch out over you so remember let's be faithful to each other Let's stick with our friends. Let's not change with the wind and change with the fashions and the fancies. Let's stick together just like our sticky water sticks together. You can try out those experiments. How many drops can you get on a penny? Can you get the water in the cup to turn upside down and stay in the cup? And remember to be faithful to each other. So that's it for today, everybody. I will see you back on Monday. So stay safe. See you soon.